important week number three for Rogue as they now come up against really their toughest challenge yet in our season six champions, Cloud9. Rogue looked good earlier today, James, and now the, the task gets a little tougher against the Cloud9 team that really, I would call them unpredictable in league play because you never really know what you're going to get with this a team. A little tougher? Just a little. A little tougher? Just a little. <laughs> yeah, no, Rogue, they act, they absolutely crushed Splice. And, and, and just listening to Kronovi talk, that was their main goal. And, you know, Taking out Cloud9 here would be icing on top of the cake. But, uh, you know, the question on my mind after seeing how well Rogue played and how well uh, Cloud9 just played against DG is, you know, how close is Rogue to Cloud9? You know, they, they, they played Splice. You know, how much of it was Splice playing poorly and Ghost playing well? Well, we're about to find out. And in the game we go, Torment off the kickoff, immediately challenged by Wonder. Squishy. Finding some room for a little bit. Kronovi on the backboard has it defended. Now taking control from midfield. Just trying to buy a little bit of time off to the side. AJ having to flip up to make a save. Still hanging in front of the box. Wonder able to pick up the save. Cloud9. Some early shot opportunities. Some early pressure here against Rogue. And that was one thing Rogue did so well against Splice was just keep the ball in Splice's half. Give them no breathing room whatsoever and Kronovi had fantastic passing plays but as I say it you know maybe a little bit of a pass to Squishy here Squishy just cutting him off and launching that one into the net and right from the corner too gets this that's, a, that's not an easy angle to put it where Squishy did but able to put it home for him Kronovi in a tough spot on the back end James like you said cloud nine score early and off the kickoff defended by Wonder picked up by AJ Rogue they're not, they're not going to get maybe as many loose balls in the attacking third like they got against Splice versus Cloud9. Cloud9 really going to make them work for every inch. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. Cloud9 is one of the speedier teams in the world. Definitely a, a, a much different pace of play versus a team like Splice who has a, a little bit of a slower methodical style of gameplay, whereas you got Gimmick on the other side who's just so fast and can hammer a shot on not only your net but his own net. And it can be difficult too because Gimmick is a player who you feel like you have a challenge against him, but then he somehow comes away with a win on, on the challenge and you just feel helpless at that point. A Cloud9 score on you, so Rogue, that's what they have to contend against right now. And Cloud9, you said methodical for how Splice likes to play, but right now they are controlling, Cloud9 are controlling the pitch against Rogue. Kronovi on the transition, looking for the shot is AJ. No good off the back wall. Gimmick has the clear and a quick turnaround there by Squishy. So Cloud9 thwart the probably best chance Rogue have had yet. Yeah, but you know, if you're a Rogue fan, you're, you're liking what you're seeing so far. You know, they just had a few opportunities on net, not the hardest shots, but they're keeping it close with Cloud9, and Cloud9 isn't completely dominating the pitch in terms of possession. So we'll see if, if Rogue can bounce back with a goal or if Cloud9 really start to put the gas to the floor and run away with it. AJ picks this up. Flying in was Torment trying to make a challenge. AJ comes away with it, squares up, flips it over one. Wonder keeping control and has the boost flying for Kronovi, but it is turned away by Torment. Still Rogue starting to swing things their way. AJ under this ball gets a touch out to the right. Oh! Torment can't do it. AJ making a miss off the side and Rogue tie the game. AJ gets his flip back, goes and hits it with the underside of his car, completely throwing Torment off. And Torment, you know, he was frazzled there and just knocks it right into his own net. What a shot from AJ. Just the spark Rogue needed after that first half. Now find themselves tied in game one. Teed out, Squishy was waiting for it. Low against the backboard. Shit, Squishy had the shot. It was turned away. And Crow just in a, in a situation there, we had multiple Cloud9 attackers coming at him, just held strong and got a good save. And again for Kronovi. Well, he gets a dunk on that play, but away from the play, gimmick forced back. Sets things up for Rogue here in the corner. Squishy up for this on the challenge. Heads back to Cloud9's corner again as they work to move back to midfield. But even that last play, because of Crow's you know, aggression and getting good challenges, 
Rogue, they had phenomenal challenges against Splice, and that's what let them keep the attack going. And we're seeing more of that now, but Gimmick winning a challenge of his own here, getting Cloud9 the lead. And you see there, just a, two players coming up, an absolute crushing challenge there by Gimmick as he just sits there and watches it go in. And Gimmick does that so many times for Cloud9. I talked about it earlier where he'll just go for every single challenge. And I know Achieves like to, likes to say, you know, Cloud9 good ball chasing. And that's what Gimmick does so well. He can just throw his Dominus in whichever orientation he needs to, and he will win the challenge against you. Showcases it there. Cloud9 looking for another goal. There's Gimmick rolling it above Kronovi. And so much of ball chasing, Jervy, is how well you can challenge. You know, knowing how to manipulate your car to get the best result possible in a 50-50. And, you know, Gimmick is one of those players who knows how to do it well. Rogue, after fighting back to tie the game up, they're going to try to do so again. The ball slipped by everybody. Squishy finds the gap and picks up the insurance against Rogue. Remember that uh, conversation we had about 50-50s and, and challenges? Yeah, well, there's a, <laughs> another good example right there. This time, it was Squishy just reading the counterattack perfectly and shut it down instantly, getting another goal. And I feel like in previous weeks, James, we've talked about this rogue team as they almost allow another goal. Kronovi picks oh. up the save, Squishy follows it up and putting the game squarely out of reach for rogue. And then again, Cloud9 there, uh, a little bit of miscommunication. It looked like Kronovi and AJ not able to get the defensive line on the ball. They were shook and Gimmick just came in Hit the ball off the back wall to Squishy, and Squishy gets his hat trick. Rogue have had, it feels, up and down series this season. But overall, everyone's gotten the sense that this is a team that has a ton of potential. Kronovi off of that touch, off the crossbar. Can't put it in. Torment got a piece of it to make the save. AJ's shot just wide. Rogue trying to score something with time left to try to try to get themselves back into game number one. It is not going to happen. Cloud9 go the other way. And again, Rogue that rev up, they needed that big win against Splice. It was a nice reset. Gimmick blocking the laser shot. That was a nice pinch there. But again, it's just against Cloud9. I feel like we're back to talking about Rogue. It's like they look good. They just can't seem to hang as far as the distance goes against Cloud9 right now if we have one game of data. To, to show for that, but Cloud9, strong uh, strong finish. Yeah, a strong finish. It was a, it was a pretty good start for Rogue. You know, they just had a, a couple of those goals, two of them that they conceded were just, and maybe even three, arguably, were just poor challenges on the 50-50 that Cloud9 punished him on. You know, there was the play with, with Kronovi where he tried to hit it into the corner, squishy read him perfectly. The same thing happened with Gimmick, reading the defense, got that challenge win, got the goal. Squishy did the exact same thing. So three of the goals were just situations where uh, Rogue didn't challenge as effectively as they did against Splice. But a lot of that is just due to how good Cloud9 is. And I think we're seeing that with the big three. You know, it's just uh, that storyline is is playing out every week in North America. You ha We have these same three teams, NRG, G2, Cloud9, just absolutely dominating the table in North America, and it seems like no one else can stand up to these guys. And to, to add some finality onto your point, Rogue's only goal that they scored came off of a flip a flip reset from AJ. <laughs> redirect to the opposite side from AJ that Torment still almost saved. It, it's, it almost feels impossible to play, to score on this Cloud9 team. Last week, when Cloud9 played against Ghost, Ghost it didn't necessarily, yes, they couldn't get anything going, but Cloud9 had just completely shut them down, didn't even allow them to generate any kind of sustainable offense and while Rogue have had uh, they've had moments for that Cloud9 have just shut everything down so it's, it's the same Cloud9 team that we saw last week it continues against Rogue as they look to bounce back here in game number two yeah and you know Cloud9 is just a team that has so many weapons Torment coming into this week was leading uh, the North American RLCS in scoring and then you also have Gimmick and Squishy in the wings waiting as well it's a team with so much firepower and, you know, even still saw a defense there from Squishy, but Cloud9, they just, and all members of the big three, they just, you have to wonder as a Rocket League fan of North American uh, play, 
who is going to take these guys down? And we had, we had been talking about it earlier, is that when you, especially when you look at look over at Europe and you see the teams that are succeeding, it's, again, teams that can, all three players, can they contribute evenly to the effort? Rogue hunting for a goal, slips it under, and Gimmick picks up the save, headed the other way. Quick turnaround, AJ looks for another go, tap out to the corner and picked up the pop-up from Wonder, but Kronovi playing it safe, respecting the clear potential from Cloud9, waiting for his way in. It's never going to come as he gets bumped out of the way by Squishy. Torment heading the other way. Shot through, blocked by Kronovi from Gimmick. Squishy wrapping around, he got the boost, couldn't get the ball. Still Cloud9 able to transition out. And you know, Kronovi has made a lot of really good saves. Even last game, AJ getting a good save there. But uh, Kronovi on the back line has been pretty sturdy. And Rogue has looked better on offense, at least in the early part of this game. So we'll see if Rogue can bounce back. Oh. That one right there, you, you'd wish Kronovi would have hit that shot. It looked pretty open for him. And you understand why he might have been rushing it there. You had a couple of Cloud9 members in the net. You wanted to make sure it went to a spot where they couldn't make a save onto it. He wanted to hit that one high, and it just got a little, a little away from him, a little too high off the crossbar. Demo opens it up. Wonder scores off the assist from Kronovi. Team effort by Rogue. They score first. Yeah, absolutely. Kronovi just doing a good job of hustling to the goal line and taking out that final defender. Wonder going to bounce that one in. But like you pointed out, Jorby, Kronovi, that demo was what allowed that play to take place. And again for Rogue. Great to be able to score first against Cloud9. We're just capable of shutting down a game at any point. And now you force them to score, but they're also, well, they're pretty good at that. Squishy around the corner. Cleared away by Kronovi. Torment plays it to his own back wall. Kronovi continuing the press, gets the demo while he got away from the ball, passes out to AJ. Again, AJ scores for Rogue. This is a great play by Kronovi across yeah, the pitch. This is a trademark Kronovi play. Instead of rotating out, look at him. He goes up the wall and passes it out to AJ. That was a, a nice job by AJ, too, recognizing that's what Kronovi was doing. Because, you know, times in the past we've seen Kronovi try to make that play, but the communication isn't there with his teammates, and he ends up actually messing up their shot. That time, he set up the goal, well reacted to by AJ and Rogue, extending their lead. It's much needed insurance against this Cloud9 team, especially a confidence booster halfway through game number two. AJ on the press off the back wall. Kronovi shot blocked by Gimmick. Wonder picking this up as well. He picks it off the side, ends up a shot. Torment picks up the save. Still, Cloud9 can't break out of their third. AJ, he's been on every challenge here on the left side of Cloud9 territory. Kronovi on the rotation. Squishy able to finally punt this out of C9's end. Wonder just gets one touch. Torment gonna play it slow. Looking to get right past AJ, can't do it. And he stays with the ball. Rogue able to defend the transition. A good recovery from AJ. Cloud9 threatening there because of that demo that allowed them to continue getting that pressure. But what we saw at the start of this game was exactly what Rogue did to Splice. They did the same, just managed to pull off the same thing against Cloud9. So if you're a, a Rogue fan, you're hopeful right now that they can reel this series back in. And you know, Rogue looking very polished, at least in game two. But Cloud9 is a team that can bounce back so quickly if you let them. And they've taken control here in the offensive half. They had some pressure going. Finally, Rogue do break out. Squishy knocks that one away, but it's only right back to AJ, forcing Torment to have to play off the back wall. Gimmick, that touch challenged by Wonder. Cloud9, still plenty of time left to score two. And bumped away by Kronovi. We're approaching a minute left. Wonder taking this from the corner straight out to AJ. And it's knocked out to the side again. But Rogue are content to just see what sticks. Not want to give up a free goal. Not want to give up on the transition. You have the insurance. So utilize it to the best of your ability. Rogue have done that so far. Squishy in midfield looking for Gimmick. Gimmick high off the backboard. Does he have the read? No, Kronovi able to knock it away. Squishy's there to pick it up. Cleared again by Rogue. And again, excellent defense from Kronovi. He is having such a great week so far. And an open net for AJ. That's going to be the third now for Rogue, second for AJ in the game. And Torment tried to slow that one down, tried to buy some time, maybe throwing off Rogue as they maybe wanted to get quick on the transition. Cloud9, previous to that sequence right there, had started to put on some decent pressure. And they wanted to try to keep that up. Torment just... Good idea, just could not keep the ball close to him. Ended up giving it up on the goal. Cloud9 
probably out of reach at this point for game number two, but what a response by Rogue in this game number two in, in, a, in a day that has been sweep after sweep and emphatic performances. Rogue have been able to stand up to this challenge. They still had a lot of questions around them, and they still do, even after game number two. You put on a stellar performance, Rogue. Well done. Now, how many more times can you do it against this Cloud9 team? And you, you certainly love to see it if you're a Rogue fan. Yeah, and you, you know, game three, that's where a lot of our questions are going to be answered. I mean, all, all of today in these big three matchups, the games where the, the non-big three teams have almost been able to take a win or have uh, gotten close, it has been very close series. You know, no one's really dominated any big three teams. So to see Rogue come out here and shut shut out Cloud9 and score three goals on him, that is pretty impressive. I think we're, and, and I think we're really starting to see the fruits of Kronovi on this team. Uh, Rogue before, when, when they had Prime Thunder, a lot of times it, it felt like the team relied on Prime's ability to be flashy and to make those those flashy shots and, and to score those goals. And now this is just, it's much more of a well-rounded team. And I think that's what Kronovi has really brought to this team. I mean, we saw even earlier in the game, again, James, you had referenced the kind of style that he plays, that quick pass when he cuts rotation in order for AJ to score. Yeah. He's enabled his teammates, Wonder and AJ, to perform better just because of the way he plays the game. Yeah, absolutely. And also the defensive side as well, making the saves in the back, helping kickstart those counterattacks. But you know, you think back to last season, you do you remember which team was able to take down Cloud9 in league play? Oh yes. yes. Oh yes. Yeah, you're right. FlyQuest. It was these guys. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. FlyQuest now called Rogue, but you know, it was Prime Thunder who was the guy who was really taking charge in that series, but this time I think you're right. Kronovi is playing a key part, but it's a much more of a team effort right now, but the series is still tied up 1 to 1 and you can't forget that in game 1, Cloud9, they dominated. And it was at the challenges where they really dominated, but this time Rogue was able to do exactly what they did with Splice, get the ball in the opposing player or in the opposing team's half, keep the pressure on, try to keep the ball on their backboard, keep it high, and just whittle them down. And it always feels like Cloud9 has that extra gear they kick into when things aren't going their way. And if things continue to favor Rogue in this series, expect Cloud9 to kick into that gear. We're underway here in Game 3, the, the pivot game, if you will. Both teams searching for that series advantage, Kronovi. Able to tee that out back to midfield. Kronovi not being able to get back to it. Oh, Squishy tees this one up. Gimmick is there. It had the shot blocked by Wonder. Kronovi trying to get this one out. AJ on the challenge as well. Torment trying to fight off this entire rogue squad and they get away. Gimmick back over to Squishy. Cloud9. They prevent the counterattack at midfield and head back to rogue territory. And that shot from Squishy did draw out two defenders. But still, keeping their composure. Rogue playing solid defense. Both teams getting some good chances early on. It's a good challenge by Torment. Just buy some more time for Cloud9. And Gimmick was given the ball right there off the crossbar. Squishy rolls it under. Cloud9 a minute in. Get the first goal of the game. And you can see here, Gimmick just taking his time here. Pounding that one. And it actually hit off the crossbar a little bit. And Squishy was able to finish that one off. So Gimmick, well-placed shot from him, almost finding its mark. But Squishy doing a good job of reacting to the crossbar bounce instead of a backboard bounce. Off the kickoff, Kronovi's challenged again. The demo opens up the back end of Rogue, and Gimmick tried to take advantage, but it was challenged, knocked away. AJ now off the touch from Kronovi. Wonder picking up the demo. Kronovi, high bounce, stays close to it. Has to beat Gimmick on the play. Tall order as Gimmick picks up the clear. A good job from Wonder there, slowing down the attack. Just enough time for AJ and Kronovi to get back. But Cloud9 now having a lead. It's rare that they give that up. Especially Torment in midfield. Again, locking that one down will be tough to get any kind of angle. Maybe need another flip reset out of AJ. I think that just goes to show you, James, sometimes how much an early lead really means to a team. Cloud9 weren't able to score in game number two, and Rogue did score an early goal. That gives you so much confidence off the line and off the next kickoff. 
you have confidence you have confidence in your ability to challenge the ball and you end up making better decisions subconsciously because of it yeah and not only that it just puts all the pressure on the other team yeah. you know you you instead of having to force the issue you can just punt the ball and try to to make the other team scramble and make a mistake I'll pass out the Gimmick, Torment picked that one up. Gimmick goes back to his own pass off the crossbar and in. Somehow Gimmick gets through Rogue's defense and they're up 2-0. Well, I mean, keep your eyes on AJ here. He went to jump for it and he accidentally side flipped right there. He did have enough boost to make a play on the ball. Just a little bit of a mechanical mistake there and Gimmick makes him pay. A very yin and yang series so far. Game one squarely belonged to Cloud9. Game two, Rogue's. We're halfway through game number three. It's looking all cloud nine right now. Torment able to clear that one out yet again. Couldn't find the challenge. Wonder wins a big one there. Allows AJ to carry this one out. Gimmick again. Another challenge to stop any kind of attack from Rogue. Gimmick back over to Torment. Torment, or excuse me, Squishy, bumps one out of the way. I'm so used to Torment being that next, next guy to punch it in. He's been that goal scorer this season. Another quick pass out for Rogue, but Gimmick is there to defend again. Gimmick has a breakaway, Gimmick has a goal, and Cloud9 up by three. A really tough situation for the Kronovi to be in. He was expecting AJ to at least get a piece of that ball, even trying to wave dash toward it, but Gimmick just getting to that ball very quickly. But again, AJ, he just needed to skim that ball, touch it, slow it down somehow, because it completely caught Kronovi by surprise. So things got the better of Rogue in game number three. There's still about two minutes left. Not completely out of it on the transition. Kronovi maybe can start the clock for his team. Challenge knocked away. AJ, the pass to Wonder Wonder, a little too far up for it. Torment going to take that one over. Kronovi racing back. AJ's able to hop back and make a save. Just wastes more time. Cloud9 score again, <laughs> and that's a fourth one as Torment picks another one up. And, and take a look at Gimmick here. He gets the demo after the pass and jumps down at Wonder, preventing Wonder from coming out to get the hit. That left the ball wide open for Torment to finish the play off, but that was an aggressive play from Gimmick. And he's, Gimmick has really just shut down this entire Rogue team. It feels like the majority of times Rogue do move down to Cloud9's half, it's Gimmick making the saves. Case in point, Gimmick on the backboard. Again, clears it away. And able to throw it away back to Torment. Kronovi just trying to get something going for Rogue here. Wonderful pass. Gimmick able to get back to it. Three shots, or four now, in total for Rogue. Versus a lot more, 12 from Cloud9 in game number three. And I definitely think those stats pass the eye test from what we've seen in the last four minutes of gameplay. Yeah, this is exactly like what we saw from game number one. You just have to wonder what's changed from game two where Rogue was able to put that menacing pressure on. Cloud9 just adjusting very well. They're just not winning those challenges. We talked about those challenges in game one as Gimmick oh. almost picks up another and how good Cloud9 are at being able to position themselves to win most challenges. And they've just, they've made that adjustment. They've won those challenges. Wonder's going to pick up a goal here. Does not matter with 20 seconds left. Rogue have to keep adjusting to how Cloud9 are playing this. And even when they do have that semblance of pressure, Gimmick has really just been locked down in both of Cloud9's corners. And it's really prevented them from getting those consecutive touches that help bring defenders out, that help have defenders waste boost. They just haven't been able to perform in game number three. And that one's just going to bounce right in. Gimmick. Why not? Hat trick. Yeah, hat trick for him. Three goals on eight shots. But you're right, it's just the challenge game here. And you know, Wonder, he had to hit that to the corner. He had to hit that to the side. As soon as he missed, you know, signing his own death warrant right there. But Cloud9, they just did not let Rogue play their game. Rogue, in order to, to get into that position where they're locking you down, you have to be winning the boost game. And that, that is something that did not happen for Rogue this time. Too many defensive misses put Rogue on, the, on their back foot for pretty much the entirety of the game. And again, Cloud9, they pick up this game. They head, we had to game four as they look to close out the series. For Rogue, James, I think you touched on it perfectly, just trying to find the boost, trying to find the only resource on the field to help you make the challenge you want to make. And 
I think the first goal in this series in particular is so important. If Rogue can find the first goal in the set, if they can get a good win off the kickoff early and put Cloud9 on their back wheels early and you can get a quick goal, then you can set the tone the way you did in game number two and bounce back. Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right. They, they really have to come out swinging. They can't slow down. You cannot slow down. You cannot second guess yourself. You just have to go pedal to the metal and keep trying to do what you did in game two. You know, force Cloud9 up on their own backboard, force them to try to deny it, hope for those rebound plays because, you know, that that's what worked for them. And, and you know, maybe they'll try something else. Maybe they'll try to slow it down, go for the infield passes, maybe start doing some demos. We haven't really seen a lot of demos at all coming out from Rogue, but they're going to have to change up something because, you know, game two, they were able to make something work, but in games one and three, Cloud9 just sm they smothered them. Yeah, it, it's, it goes back to Cloud9 just being able to kick into that next gear. It might not be their final gear, but they could just kick it up a notch and be like, okay, we need to really buckle down here, and they did so. They made the adjustment that they needed to. So game number four, Rogue, as we had said, trying to bounce back to force game five. Cloud9, well, same old, same old keep on trucking along and you get yourself another series victory and the big three will stand tall still as I believe all of them are undefeated. still undefeated. Yeah, G2 4-0 in our G3-0. Cloud9 currently 3-0, about to be 4-0. And, and it starts with Squishy scoring for Cloud9. Torment off the assists. Cloud9, 16 seconds is all it takes. And you could see again, Kronovi second guessing himself on the challenge. Had he gone for that 50-50 originally on the wall, it might have been a little bit of a better result there. He did get the hit, but it was well read by Squishy, who was just waiting for him to make a play on the ball. So Rogue needed that early confidence. They needed an early goal. They couldn't get it, and now have to fight back from the so far small hole that has been dug by Cloud9 in the opening seconds. And in the corner, Kronovi looking for AJ and Wonder. They both commit on the play, leaves the net open, but Squishy and Gimmick, they get tied up, unfortunately for them. Teed down for Torment. Rogue, well, they've been fortunate to have the ball. But, but right in front of them on the pass, too. But, I mean, you see what they're doing. Cloud9 continuing to put that ball up on their backboard in the corners and stealing their boost. It has really slowed down this Rogue attack, but the Rogue has gotten a little bit of space. We'll see if they can start something here. The touch out is defended by Wonder. Kronovi on the point now for Rogue. Only able to warm his, warm his way past Gimmick still in the Cloud9 corner. And off the backboard, Kronovi. Oh, a hard pass out. AJ's there. It's just off the crossbar. Bounces out off the post. Wonder on the challenge, stopping the transition. Rogue keeping this one going. Do they have a chance? No, undercutting it was Wonder. Kronovi flying in as well to try to pick up the missed rebound, but the touch by Cloud9 sends it back to Rogue's corner. They do clear it out. Wonder on the point. Rolls it by, cannot Whoa. slip it by. Gimmick again, shutting down the box for Cloud9. But these are moments of life back in the Rogue offense. Cloud9, their defense holding strong, but Rogue, they are threatening right now to equalize. Kronovi smart to slow things down. He knew he had the space. Confirm the midfield boost, then just try to weave your way in to the blue half. He wasn't able to get anything going there, but you like the idea that Rogue have to try to get themselves back in, and we will have a quick pause and get the players all sorted out. Uh, again, I think it's a good response from Rogue, not letting things snowball out early, having that pressure after you get scored on. So it looks good. The ideas are there for Rogue. It's just about execution now. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's it's not too late for them to start bringing it back. Uh, they already have t taken Cloud9 nine down once. They win here. They'll have the momentum going into Game 5. And just from what we've seen so far in Game 4, Rogue, is they're swinging right now. So they're, they're bringing the heat. But, uh, you know, Cloud9 still has the lead, so they can afford to sit back a little bit. Although a one-goal lead, never safe in Rocket League. No, no not at all. I mean, for, for Rogue, even when they are feeling, pr uh, not pressure, but when they're putting pressure on and, and the challenges are coming close from Cloud9, because Cloud9 are making them work for space, even when they are pushed farther back, they're still going for those quick passes across the middle in front of the box when... It, 
you have you have to make sure that your player touches the ball because if not, it's going to end up in your net. But they've made those touches. It's just Cloud Nine's defense has been so good, being able to thwart any chance that they have. But it's great to see Rogue continue to go back to the passing plays because they know eventually that is what will get Cloud Nine to crack, and that's what will open up the gaps, allow them to collect boosts, allow those Cloud Nine boosts just to try to get uh, get them up, use all their resources, and finally score. Yeah, and but you know the the thing I'm worried about for Rogue is definitely their defense. Even early on in this game, we saw a moment where Kronovi had a little bit of indecision. He was up on the wall, decided to back up and then go for a hit, and the hit was just perfectly read by Squishy. He read him like a, like a book. You know the the confidence there for Rogue to continue to stay strong on defense, but there has been a lot of pressure on Kronovi in multiple situations where he's had to be the last player back making saves. So Rogue is going to have to button up that defense and find a way to score score because Cloud9, they crushed them last time. Well, we were, are still getting some things sorted out. Don't go anywhere. We'll get the series right back underway after the break. We are ready to get back into our series, Cloud9 versus Rogue. If you are just tuning in, it is game number four. Cloud9 are up in the series two to one. And just before the break, Cloud9, they had scored early and are currently currently have a one goal lead against Rogue. Two minutes and 55 seconds remaining. Rogue, see if they can bounce back. We're underway off the kickoff. And again, we were talking about Rogue's defense. Can they button things up? and find a way to get past the Cloud9 defense. The two games that Cloud9 won, they absolutely dominated. And Rogue, the one game they did dominate in, they scored early and then got a couple of more on top of it. It was fantastic pressure in game two. And they want to look to repeat that in the latter half of game four. So far, having some struggles breaking out of their own half. A lot of roll time on the ball as Gimmick came in. And a good touch by Wonder to get it out to the corner. AJ keeping it close back over to Kronovi. Challenged by Gimmick, but it's still Rogue's ball. AJ works his way to the corner. Rogue have slowly moved their way to the blue half. Off that small ball passing, if you will. It is cleared away by Cloud9. Still, Rogue looking to generate some more offense. And Gimmick, he has been kind of the, the spearhead of the attack for Cloud9, even there, bumping players on his way out on rotation. Even his play earlier. Oh, and that one might bounce in so close. That shot from Wonder almost sneaking in. They aren't going to get many chances like that. Came off the backboard. Free rebound. Wasn't, wasn't able to score. The angle of coming down on it, coming the opposite side. Kornovi kicks this down as well. Rogue. Oh, AJ. That touch is only going to help Gimmick out. See. Slaps it against the corner. Wonder just responds with his own boomer. Torment off the ceiling. Does he have another touch onto it? He does, but he's challenged by AJ. Good challenges by Rogue. And great job moving down the field. They're just missing the quality shot opportunities. Sands the one that they had just a few moments ago. They can't break out here against their own back wall. Gimmick on that challenge is just going to slow that down further. AJ looking for this teammate almost. Wonder almost finding a touch onto it. Flipped Cloud9 up for just a little bit. They still hold on. 45 seconds. Time, not the friend of Rogue. Yeah, time is running out for Rogue. They've had some good chances. They can't give up another goal if they hope to stay alive in the series. But Cloud9 just 30 seconds away from starting out 4-0. AJ keeps this one close. This comes off of Wonder's flick. Kronovi got a demo. It opened up the net. And Kronovi off the pass again from Wonder. Rogue have to reset again. Gimmick keeping it close. He booms it downfield, forcing Rogue to now have to make a quick play from their own back wall. Kronovi around Torment. Cannot get by Squishy. Squishy kills it. Forces the challenge onto AJ. Gimmick rolling around. Cloud9 know that they have it. Gimmick roll it against the ramp. Squishy or cannot get there for Torment. Oh. And now the other way, Rogue at zero seconds. Can they do it? Pick it up to save his gimmick. Wonder tries to make a play. Cloud9, Torment keeps it over his way. Oh. Kills it completely. Cloud9 win the series in game four. They stay undefeated.